Hey guys, it's Fantasia and welcome to another speed build. So I'm just going to say right off the bat, this is the third time I've recorded this voiceover and it's like two in the morning and <laughs> I feel like this one's going to be really, really rambly because I have recorded this three times and I don't like to repeat myself. So yeah, um, probably we're not going to talk about the build much in this voiceover, <laughs> but what else is new? But I mean, I talked about it a little bit more in the previous two voiceovers, but yeah, I like to have fun when I'm doing my voiceovers and actually like, you know, like talk. And if I've already said the same things twice, I don't want to say it a third time. Like that would just be like, I would not sound amused. <laughs> so yeah, but this house is called Emery Brickstone and my mom actually came up with that name. So yeah, she, she's great. That was really creative. I would not have thought of that. So yeah, I really like the name of the house. I just, I don't know. I like the way it sounds. Um, and this house. Let me tell you, it took me multiple days to build and I don't know why exactly because it's not like a big spectacular house or anything like that. As you guys will see, it's not like, you know, I, I think I've actually even built bigger houses than this or like houses that like are like more time consuming. But for some reason with this house, I didn't want to build it all in one sitting like I usually do. That's what I usually do and I spend like the whole night building. Um... But I didn't want to do that this time. For some reason, I did the outside of the house. And then after that, I was kind of like not feeling like building anymore. So I just did the bathroom and the office room. And then I went ahead and stopped. And then the next day, I did the downstairs. And the next day after that, I did the upstairs. So <laughs> if you notice like a little less videos than usual the past like two days, that's why. Um, I'm used to recording like two to three videos a day. But basically, I would work on this and then either not have time to record a video or only have time to record one video. So the other day, I only had city living. Um, and then the day before that, I didn't have a video, which was like really weird for me. Like I actually tweeted that I was sad that I didn't have a video for you guys that day. And everyone was like, it's okay. Like you record like two to three videos for us every day. But I, I don't know. I get, I get like, I want to talk to you guys every day. So yeah, it was weird. <laughs> and then even when I only record one video for the day, um, like sometimes if I'm busy, then that actually feels nice because I don't feel like really rushed because I want to have good quality content for you guys. So even though I have two to three videos a day, I still want quality over quantity, which seems weird because I have quantity, but I don't, I don't rush my videos. Like, let me tell you, I don't just like record them and then like be like, yep, let's just put this in here, barely edit it and just upload it, whatever. No, I want my videos to be like good for you guys, like as good as I can anyways. So I spend like a lot of time on YouTube every day because I want the videos to turn out good. And if I don't like something, I will not upload it. And that usually doesn't happen. I've have gotten better at like, you know, making sure a video is what I want it to be. Does that make sense? So yeah, usually I don't have to like scrap something because it kind of sucks when that happens. Um, that has ha the only time now that that's ha that that happens is while wow, I'm like rambling so much. I didn't talk about this at all in the other ones, <laughs> in the other voiceovers that didn't work out. Um, so yeah, uh, what wh why do I get out? Like I start saying something and I start saying something else and then I'm like, what was I saying? I don't know. Okay, this is what I was gonna say. Um, OBS was like crashing on me. The OBS original, which I'm using the studio now, which I've used both and I would like go back and forth between them, but I think I'm gonna stay with OBS studio now. If you guys don't know what that is, it just, it records my screen and OBS original was crashing on me and actually it could have been the update for my graphics card because I um, went back to the previous version of my graphics card before it updated, which was the August update and then updated again recently. So I went back to the August update and now it's fine, but I really don't know. I'm going to update my graphics card again to what it should be at. It's working totally fine, but I'm going to update it again to the recent update and see if it happens again, because now I'm using OBS Studio and I truly think it was the original OBS doing that because I've been hearing so many people complaining about the original. And I think it's actually because they're OBS Studio is starting to be the one that they're like monetize, monetizing, advertising more now and like the one that they want people to download and they're like putting a lot of time into it, it seems because there's more updates coming out for it. So I think that's personally why I think OBS 
original is just going to be a flop soon. So, yeah. Um, but anyways, I just thought I would tell you guys that. That's the only time I have to scratch videos was when my OBS was like, I don't know. It was like suddenly making my graphics card reset, which is really weird. Like, it was an OBS problem. It wasn't a graphics card problem, but I still wanted to put my graphics card back just in case. But yeah, it, it would tell me that my graph OBS has reset my graphics card or something like that. I don't know. It was really weird. It freaked me out. I was like so scared, but it's all good now. So um, yeah, the landscaping on this house, I really, really enjoyed doing. Um, I don't know why some houses I really enjoy landscaping, others not so much. This one was really fun and I did like a garden in the back, which I really like. Um, so yeah, that was fun. We have a pause here. Don't know why. I had to edit out a lot of pauses and I obviously missed that one because like I said, this was split into multiple different days. So there was times when like I stopped building and forgot to hit like stop recording. So that was a fail. <laughs> now I'm doing a pool and um, this backyard is like my dream backyard. Like this is so pretty. How nice would this be to have this backyard in real life with a nice pool. All we're missing is a hot tub, but I didn't want to stick a hot tub in there because it felt like cramped to me. I don't know. Also, I say also a lot. Yep, that's a thing in voiceovers. <laughs> don't talk about what we're doing and say also a lot and bring up a million different things and ramble and ramble. <laughs> so um, yeah, my new series is actually starting tomorrow when you guys are watching this. It's starting Saturday. And you guys may have heard me talk about this a lot if you watch a lot of my videos, and I'm sorry if I just keep talking about this so much, but somebody actually tweeted me, if you're watching this, you're going to know if I'm talking about you, <laughs> but they tweeted me saying that they can't wait for the new Let's Play and they're like really impatient, and like me, like I am so impatient. <laughs> you guys think you're impatient? Oh gosh, you don't want to know how, imp how impatient I am because I actually know what the Let's Play is, but I totally understand if some of you guys are like impatient, if you guys are actually excited about this Let's Play, I totally get it because I'm not telling you guys what it is, so you guys are like wondering. Um, so yeah, sorry about that, but I really want it to be a surprise because I put a lot of time into this and I've never put this much time into a Let's Play before. Um, actually earlier, well, when you're watching this, it was yesterday. So yesterday, I guess, I literally sat, I already had a story in my head, but I wanted it in my phone, like written out so that I don't want to forget anything when I'm telling you guys the story in part one. So I wrote down the long story. It turned out so much even longer, so much even longer, so much longer than I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to like try to say this story quickly in part one, but part one is like an introduction anyway. So like there's a lot of talking and then, you know, in the next part, we like really get into gameplay. So like, it's okay, but I've never had this long of a story. And usually I actually said this in my city of living. Let's play. I like to have a small story first and then have it grow. But this is an exception because this is something totally different. You guys will understand when you guys see it on my channel if you watch it. But this is very different. Um, it has a big backstory, but it's like a real backstory. So I didn't make it up. I played with them off camera and everything that is in the story actually happened, except there's a little more detail because I wanted it to be more detail. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm so excited for this, guys. I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. Like, I feel so like dedicated to this Let's Play. I'm already attached to it because like I said, I played off camera and I just think it's going to be really good. So I hope it will be. Hopefully it turns out how I think it will. And I feel like I'm going to be recording it a lot, kind of like city living. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really excited for it. I can't wait to show you guys. And I'm sorry if this is making you impatient for it, if you guys are excited for it. Um, but yeah, look forward to it on Saturday morning. So I'm in Eastern time, so it's going to be like 9 a.m. Eastern time. So I'm not sure what that is for you, but yeah, if you want to look that up to figure out when it's going to be up for you guys, definitely look out for it. I'm so excited. And yeah, I feel like I'm saying that a million times. Okay, this kitchen is like my favorite kitchen I've ever done. Did I say that already? I don't know because I've recorded this three times. Don't know, but I love it. I this is my favorite part of the whole house. Um, I really like the way it turned out. I wasn't even expecting it to look like this. I went ahead and used the spa day stuff and like the cabinets and stuff. And I wouldn't think to usually use that for a kitchen. I don't know if I have before. Maybe I have. I don't know. But it looked really good in this house for some reason. And I used the little end cabinet, if you guys can see, 
on the end of it, you know, you see it's like rounded. I love that. I love doing that. I did that recently I in, was it a Let's Decorate? I'm not sure, but I did that recently and I really liked it. So now I'm probably going to do that more often. I also feel like this table goes really, really good with the kitchen. Um, Jonathan actually, he saw the build or yeah, he, well, he saw the whole build. He uh, was like sitting across from me when I was doing some of this and um, he said that that's a really nice kitchen. And I was like, really? Because <laughs> like, it was like such a compliment to me because I was like really proud of it and I was like, does it look as good as I think it looks? I don't know, but he likes it. So I hope you guys like it. And yeah, now I'm doing the living room and, um, this living room is really cute. I just deleted the floor there. Did you guys see that? Oh, wow. <laughs> I deleted the whole floor. Um, oh, wait. Okay. I need to see when I zoom out, if there's something very odd in front of the door. Is it there? Okay, it's not. Okay, I'm, I'll explain that in a second. But yeah, this living room is like super cute and it's small and I feel like it's really cozy. I would like a living room like that. It's not like, you know, it's nothing special to it, but it's just like cute and cozy, um, which I like. So, okay, what I was just about to talk about is for some reason when I was taking pictures of this house, it was right after I built it and then I placed a sim down um, so that I could take pictures of the house and have them actually like look good instead of taking pictures in build mode because that doesn't turn out very good. Um, and I was like, I had all the walls up to take pictures and I was, the camera was like in front of the door and then there was a mailbox randomly in the middle of the house. And I was like, what? Why? <laughs> Where did that come from? I did not put that there. Like literally the mailbox literally flew into the house apparently. I don't know how it got there, but <laughs> that was kind of funny. I was like, wait. And then I went outside of the house and I was like, what? And the mailbox actually wasn't outside anymore. That was so weird. Like I kind of wish that that was on camera. I don't know. The game just magically put the mailbox in the house. So kind of like where the rug is sort of, but like a little more near the door. So if that's ever happened to you guys, comment down below because like, what? <laughs> that was so weird. So now I'm doing the upstairs bathroom and this is my favorite one. It has that bathtub that I'm obsessed with. Like, please give me that bathtub in real life. That would be amazing. <laughs> it looks like, like a hot tub. Like it has jets and everything. I love it. I remember when I was little, another story time. When I was little, my parents and me went to a hotel. I don't know why. All I know is we were in a hotel and it was like a bigger room than we usually would have had. I don't know. Usually we would just get like normal hotel rooms that are like basic and boring. But this one had a ginormous bathtub in it and it was like not in the bathroom. Does that make sense? And there was like a little platform and then it was like a huge bathtub. And I actually went to another one that had one like that and it had like mirrors all around when I was like maybe like 11 and I went with my friends and, and my mom, of course, and their mom. Um, but yeah, this was a different time and I just went, went with my parents and I don't know why we were there. No idea. Also, this area is really cute. <laughs> um, but there was a huge bathtub and it wasn't in the bathroom, like I said. So I just, you know, totally thought it was a pool. Like when I was like that little, I don't know. I thought it was a pool. So I would like got in my bathing suit and I was like, let's go swimming. <laughs> and I would just like swim around like, like so late at night. Well, not like so late. Obviously I didn't go to bed that late when I was little, but yeah, that's all I wanted to do at night when we like went into the hotel room for the night. Like we would like be outside and stuff like that. Whatever we were doing. I don't know why we were at this hotel. Don't remember that at all. The highlight of this trip was the giant bathtub for me. So <laughs> that was funny. I was like so excited about this giant bathtub and just wanted to be in there all the time and swim because I was small enough to actually swim in this bathtub. So yeah, that was so cool. That rug is like the cutest thing ever. I was going to put it in the kid's room, but it kind of like, I don't know, it didn't look right once. Well, actually I didn't even end up putting it down. I totally forgot about it, but now looking back on it, it would look weird anyways. So it's fine. Um, the kids' room, actually, I, I very much like. I really like doing kids' rooms. Ever since we got the kids' room stuff, kids' rooms are a fun time. So, yeah. Also, this room, I I think it's very, like, cozy. A lot of parts of this house feel cozy to me, and I like that. So, this bed that came with City Living, I want that bed in real life. Like, I love it. It's like a canopy, canopy bed, but it's, like, actually, like, I don't know. 
it just looks extra nice. So yeah, there's that. And there's like candles and stuff. I think it looks pretty. Um, and then now we're in the kids room and there's kind of like, there is a pink theme, but at the same time I threw some purple in there and a lot of browns. So I didn't want to do like all pink because I've done that a few times. So I decided to use some brown furniture and then the desk is like a purpley color, like a light purple. And then there's a giant frog rug on the floor. I don't know. I went with it. I wanted to do something different for the rug. I was going to do the little flower rug, you know what I'm talking about? I don't know. It came with like the backyard stuff, I think. But I decided not to and do something different and just do a giant frog. And then I went ahead and put the frogs on the wall and I feel like that looks really pretty <laughs> um, with the little flower. I would have loved that when I was little. And then I put little posters there and there's a lot of stuff on this kid's wall. Walls, I should say. Um, yeah. And this could totally, you could have this for any gender, honestly. Like, it's not, I really feel like it's not gender specific. Yeah, maybe pink, but who cares? Put a boy in here. I think it's fine. So, yeah, this house is not, like, specified for anything, but, yeah, just, like, parents that have a kid. Um, you could totally even make that into a two-bedroom. I mean, a, a, like, two beds in a bedroom. You know what I mean? Anyways, we're going into pictures. I hope you guys enjoyed this speed build and look forward to more. I want to do more of these, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. This house is on the gallery if you'd like to download it and my origin ID is down below. I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day. I love you guys all so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.